Hi guys. So picture a company selling bicycles. So say we recently start, a few months ago, started this company buying and selling bicycles. And we've been profitable since the first month. So we've been lucky. Um, but the weather was nice. People were outside enjoying themselves. And now we're entering the rainy season. So we're expecting a drop in our bicycle sales. And we want to know how far can our sales drop before we start making a loss. So we need to calculate what's called the margin of safety. So the margin of safety is the number of units or the percentage drop in sales before we start making a loss. So it gives us a measure of risk. So if we um, currently sell X amount of bicycles and we calculate the margin of safety to be two bicycles, it means if we sell um, two bicycles less than we currently sell, we are going to start making a loss. So that's a very risky position to be in. If our margin of safety is 100 bicycles, we know our sales could drop by 100 bicycles before we start making a loss. So let's look at an example. How do we calculate the margin of safety? So if our, say our fixed costs are 2,000 per month, uh, we currently make a contribution of 40 per unit per bicycle and our current sales level is 60 bikes or 60 units so we're currently selling 60 units a month um, and now we want to know what is our margin of safety so we first calculate the break-even point so break-even equals fixed cost divided by contribution per unit. So that's our fixed cost of 2,000 divided by contribution of 40 per unit. So our break-even point is 50 bikes. So we're currently selling 60 bikes. Our break-even point is 50 bikes. So the difference between the two is our margin of safety. Our sales could drop from the current level of 60 all the way down to 50 bikes before we start making a loss. So this, the, the 10 bikes that we sell in excess of the 50 is what contributes towards our current profit that we're making. So margin of safety is the current units less the break-even units and that gives us 10 units. So we could express it in units. So we've got 10 units to play with before we start making a loss. Um, if it's big numbers, it's maybe sometimes more meaningful to give it in percentages. So our margin of safety percentage is the margin of safety in units, the 10 from, from the first calculation, divided by our current sales level of 60 units. And this will give us an answer of 16.67 so how do we interpret this? The interpretation of our calculations are always the most important bit. Um, so uh, if we see a margin of safety of 16.67%, that means our current sales could drop by 16.67% before we start making a loss. So this gives us an indication of how risky this, the current operations are, how, um, how likely we are to enter that loss-making position.